Did you just cut your hair impulsively and realize, I don't know what to do with it? That was me a month ago. I, mm, well, that's actually still me right now, so I don't know why I'm filming this. Ever since cutting my hair about a month, two months ago, whatever it's been, you guys have been requesting a how I style my short hair video aggressively. And I feel like I might let you guys down a little bit because <laughs> I'm really not someone to go crazy with my hair. I usually stick with like the same three, four hairstyles. So today's video is really gonna be a beginner's guide, simple things that you can do when you're running out the door and just different ways that I have found to kind of complement my my short hair and not make it look like super flat and just kind of bobby and weird and stuff. Like we want to give it some life, you know what I mean? I'm going to start off by showing you guys how I like to curl my hair. I call it the bed head because it's pretty messy and it's not perfect and that's how I like it. So starting off with just my natural hair. Also, I realized that my shirt had holes in it, like as a style. Interesting. Anyways, so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of dry shampoo from Living Proof to add some texture into my hair and also because it was a little greasy. I like to section off my hair in three parts. So starting on the bottom, I'm grabbing a straightener which is the only hot tool that I use on my hair nowadays. But because these pieces are pretty short, all I'm doing is just alternating going over and under, under and over to give my hair that kink wave. And then going in with the middle section and clipping up the top. I'm doing the same thing, but now that the hair is longer, you can see what I'm actually trying to create here. That's what you want it to look like, like a ramen noodle or like a squiggle, an S. I don't know, whatever you want to relate it to. But I'm just going through and switching off kind of the patterns. And I mostly like to curl my ends in. So you'll see more of that than curling out, but that's just a personal choice. And then at this point, I'm just going to throw in a little bit of whey texturizing spray to start kind of holding the curl as I am doing the rest of my hair. So now we are just finishing up with the top section and doing the same exact thing. The reason why I've been preferring flat iron waving versus regular curling is because I feel like it gives my hair a lot of volume, body, and also kind of accentuates my blunt haircut. To finish it all off, I'm going in and curling any ends that maybe are a little straight, and then using the same texturizing spray throughout the rest of my hair and just a teensy bit of hairspray because I feel like it helps to kind of make my hair look more PC and really lets me kind of play with it. All right, moving on to the next look, which is my modern subtle take on the 60s hair flip. I do this all the time because it's so easy and super, super quick to do. I'm basically just curling my ends upwards. If you don't naturally have straight hair, then you can straighten all of it and then just curl up when you finish each strand. But um, I just have to focus on the ends. And yeah, I feel like this hairstyle just makes my whole look so youthful and innocent looking and it helps just give some sort of movement to my hair. So I resort to this a bunch, but yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. I like to tuck my hair behind my ears with this look. I feel like it makes it look more polished and cutesy. Not adding too much product, just a little bit of texturizing spray to the ends of my hair to hold them. And that's all I do for this one. Also, I want to show you guys the option of wearing a little headband. I think headbands are so cute and underrated. No one ever wears them anymore, and I would definitely wear them with that hairstyle. Next up, we've got the scrunchie bun. It takes maybe two seconds to do. Almost didn't put it in this video because it's that easy, but basically you grab a scrunchie and you start making a ponytail and on the second twist, you just keep your hair tucked in. You don't pull it out and it's in a cute little bun. It's great for short hair and depending on what scrunchie color pattern you wanna use, it can complement so many different outfits. I mean, of course I had to add in the half up pony. It's a classic short hairstyle. It's 11 o'clock. Damn it, that's my computer. Well, that's the time that I'm filming this. Anyways, basically I'm just throwing in a pony starting halfway down my hair. And since my hair is super thin, I like to give it a little tease on the bottom half to make my hair look more full, shake it out, pull a little bit from the top, make it a little messy. Yeah. 
So this next look is another half up, half down, but this one is so sweet and so girly. Instead of pulling all my hair back, I'm keeping my middle parts and giving myself like a low half up, half down pony. I like to pull some of my hair in the front to help frame my face, and I feel like it just gives that last finishing detail to the look. And that's it for this one. The only reason I'm letting myself put in another half up, half down is A, my hair is too short to do anything else, but I wanted to show you guys how I do this bun because it takes me like three seconds, if that. Did you did you see that? I just did that. Let's, let's take it back. Hold your hair like a ponytail, grab the hair tie, twist your hand, and then pull back the hair tie with the other hand. It's so hard to explain, so I'm just showing you guys this three different times. I twist that first hand when the hair tie is like halfway down my hair, then that's when I twist and pull over. Also, quick tip, if you have long hair, you can do this with all of your hair just for one big bun. Last but not least, we have the Low Wavy Pony, which is also a personal favorite of mine. I do it all the time. So starting off with the middle parts, I'm just brushing my hair down into a low ponytail. Then, of course, I need to pull some pieces from the front, but specifically this time, I'm grabbing longer pieces and more than I normally would, then tucking all of that behind my ears, then pulling some smaller ones in front. So I've got kind of flyaways happening in front and behind my ears. Once I've messed around enough with my hair, I like to lock everything in place with some hairspray. And that is it. <laughs> so complicated, I know. That is it for today's video. I told you guys you weren't gonna be impressed. But genuinely, these are the only things that I do to my hair. So before filming this, I researched like different short hairstyle videos and people were doing crazy braids, crazy designs, and I'm just like, I can't even fake that for the camera. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys for a new video very soon. Bye.